Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update for my Shop My Stash series. I have formatted mine in the way that Chic Geek has formatted hers. So she is listed in my description box. I like to pull out four to five makeup products from my collection to use alongside my project pans. The traditional Shop My Stash had stopped working for me once once I started participating in so many project pans, it was just way too much makeup in my everyday makeup drawer to get good use out of. So first I am going to recap a couple of the products that I've been using over the last long while. All right, first I want to talk about this Rodeal Soft Focus Glow Drops. I've used this three or four times now. I got this in a BoxyCharm late last year. This is a beautiful glowy hydrating type of primer. I think I would like this more in the winter time when my skin is more dry because while my skin isn't really oily yet at this point in the warmer months, I just didn't find it did enough for me. My makeup stayed on fine, but it didn't help with, you know, my texture or my pores or anything. That's not what this claims to do. But I think those are the types of primers that I'm wanting to reach for at this time rather than a hydrating one. I did specifically really enjoy this on my forehead. I felt like it gave a really dewy hydrated glow, but I'm ready to put this back. The Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer, another product I got in BoxyCharm. I'm really trying to use these products because I tend to reach for products that I purchase myself over BoxyCharm ones if like looking at two of them, you know what I mean? I did choose the shade LN2 and it's a bit too light for me. Even in the cold winter months, I am almost, I should say I used to be almost always like one of the lightest shades and I chose LN2 as it was the lightest with a neutral undertone, but look how light that is. I mean, that's great that they have a good shade range. I looked at swatches, but apparently I didn't make a very good choice. So I have been mixing this with the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. That is such a long name. To deepen it up and further, and give it a further glow. This does have SPF 20, which I really enjoy. It's not my favorite tinted moisturizer, but I'm happy to have it in my collection and will continue to use it. I had pulled in my Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Foil. I thought this looked so dry on my eyelids. Like, it felt dry. It looked like dry, kind of cracked glitter. I don't understand what I did wrong. I've tried it a couple of times. Swatched on my hand, it looks beautiful, foiled, metallic, glittery, all of the good <laughs> adjectives I could think of but on my eye it just looked so dry. Maybe this is something I'll pull out in the summertime when I'm having less dry skin issues. Um, my eye area can be dry in the cooler months especially with the heat kicking on and stuff but I thought by this point I wouldn't be having that problem so I need to revisit this one. And the last product I wanted to talk about today is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I love pulling this out in the spring and summertime. I've used it a handful of times. It's not in a project or anything, but I was happy I made this a bit of a priority. It's just a beautiful glowy peach with like gold running through it. Absolutely beautiful. I love a peachy glowy cheek but as I said it's not in a project and I have a million blushes so I will be pulling out something different today so this needs to go back in the drawer. I actually forgot to mention one product that I wanted to be sure to chat about and it was sitting beside me not in front of me which was silly. The Kaleidos and Angelica Nikvis Club Nebula palette was pulled in my last Shop My Stash. And I have used this a ton. I actually did do a three looks, one palette video. I will link that in the cards above if you didn't see it. I just feel so inspired by this palette. I don't know what it is, 
it's just something special and I'm so happy to have this in my collection but I am ready to put this back and pull in a different palette to get some love on. Those were the four products I wanted to chat with you guys about. Let's head over and shop my stash. Okay, you guys, let's shop my stash. A highlighter I have been feeling like I haven't used in a while is Ofra Rodeo Drive. This is their old packaging, but it is a beautiful gold. I'm Oh, if I drop it and break it, I won't be very happy. A beautiful gold highlighter. I am starting to get a summer tan as well as I'm experimenting with fake tan. So this matches me better when I have some color to my skin. I'm really excited to get some more use on this one. I can't stop thinking about my Cover FX Blush Duo in the shade Soft Peach. This was gifted to me from Steph, which I'm so thankful for, and it has become a new favorite in my collection since she sent it to me about a year and a half ago, I think. And this is, again, perfect for spring. I was looking at my makeup tracking spreadsheet, and I realized... I have not used this Hourglass Veil Primer in forever, like over a year. And it's so small. I feel like I could use it up this year, maybe. So I'm going to pull this one. And lastly, for eyeshadow, I want to pull in my Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. Sadly, this shade is broken. I'll have to try and press that in there again. I've already done that. But I think this is going to be a great everyday neutrals palette. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping my stash with me today. If you did, give this video a thumbs up so that I know. Let me know what I should be pulling in my next Shop My Stash. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.